how is everything with chair confirmations? How do you feel? A little weird. I know it just kind of looks like it's just such an abstract concept. Right, right. So today, let's see what you know okay, and go it. from there. For these, let's label each as either cis or trans. Okay. Talk it out. What does that mean again? So cis is same and then trans is opposite. Good. So like I'm looking at where the branching is happening pretty much. Like this is going up and this is going down. Good. So I know that's trans. Beautiful. And then these both are going up, so I know that that's cis. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that's exactly correct. That's exactly what we're looking at. You said that this is pointing up. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're really just following the direction of where this is headed, where think of the arrowhead towards whatever is at the end. Yes. And then this is going down. They're opposite. That's trans. And then this one you said they're both pointed up and mm -hmm. up which makes it cis, exactly. Okay. And then that goes back to what we saw before. There's so many different varieties of mm -hmm. ways that we can like mix this up, where if something is cis, again, it's either up and up or down and down. Right. It's not based off of, hey, one is equatorial, axial. Mm -hmm. It could be a mixture of things again, yeah. you know, axial, equatorial. Really, we're just looking at the direction of where the substituents are pointed. And then same concept with trans, it's just both of them are opposite, right? Uh -huh. Or we have one that's up, one that's down, and so on. Yeah. But we could have axial and axial, equatorial and equatorial. Yeah. Okay. Off to a good start. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so this next one, ACS. Oh, we love ACS. <laughs> yes, we do. We're going to pick <laughs> one. Uh, so this one is saying, which of the following represents the most staple confirmation of cis-1,4-dimethylcyclohexane? Okay, so I'm looking for same direction. Good. Um, so that would automatically cut this one out. Okay. I know A is not going to be one of them. Why? Because the, well, they're both equatorial, but they're going in different directions. One's up, one's down. Good, so it's not cis, it's not trans. That one. Yep. So, okay, that's out. What about B? Um, cis 1 for dimethylcyclohexane. Okay, um, I actually don't know now. That's as far as I got. Okay. Methyl, because I know I have two methyl groups. Good. Branching off of one and four. Okay. I just don't know how to know which one's one and four. We'll number it. So can I just can I just number it? like one two exactly. Three, four? So why don't grab a pen and then we can start here and just say one two three four. Okay. One two. Yeah, I'll stop there because it'll technically go five six. Right? Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then. Does it go, does it matter the direction I go? I always kind of get confused by that. That's mainly with the chair flip. Okay, that's why it matters. So it'd be this one. Perfect. This one. And the main thing is just because of the numbering. You did see that, sure, this is cis because they're both going in the same direction. Uh -huh. This is also cis because it's going in the same direction, same direction. So we knew this one was out because that's trans. Uh -huh. The next thing, perfect, uh, you have to have two methyl groups, one at one and another one at four. Okay. That's it. Oh, and now I'm like realizing one, two, three, four. So even if I counted this way, exactly. it's still end up. So it's this guy for sure. Yeah. Okay. The, the main thing that we have to look at, and we'll mm -hmm. get to that, is whenever we do the chair flip, that's when numbering does matter. Okay. Because yeah. we want to number in the same direction for each one. Right, okay. But perfect. That was Good. it. Good. And that even yes. covered some naming too. That's true, yeah. yeah. Breaking it down. So difficulty level two. Okay. Let's change it up. I'll change it up. Now this question says to draw the two chair conformers mm -hmm. and label the most stable conformer. So we're given the name, and you're actually not even necessarily given this. Okay. But this is what we know they look like, mm -hmm. right? This is looking at the chair flip. Yeah. Haven't numbered anything. Main thing I want us to do right now is just to see what this would look like. So let's let's build it. Okay. What is this name telling us? So trans mm -hmm. opposite so one is going up one's going down beautiful um one ethyl at the one there's going to be two carbons like branching off of okay it. so we're already saying that this is carbon one yeah okay so we said this is going to be an ethyl mm -hmm. how many carbons does an ethyl have uh two right yes yeah? okay let's build that Good. At the two, so isopropyl will have three okay. carbons coming off of it, um, and they're going to look like this, something like this. Good, right? like a Y. Like yeah, a Y? Perfect. Okay. So that's one option. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have to pretty much flip it flip on the chair flip. Okay. Where's the numbering here? 
one will be up here now, right? Good. Okay. Okay. That's my one, mm -hmm. and then my two will just be opposite. Like that, right? So the two, if we're going this way, so the, the one would be here, which is right, uh -huh. then the two would be here, three. Oh. So it's like we're going in that direction. Oh, okay, so it'd be this guy right here. And the reason why I say that is because we want this to go in the same direction oh, okay. when we're doing the chair flip. So if this is going towards the right, we want that to continue towards the right, not going towards the opposite side, the left. Oh, so if I numbered this one too, I would have to keep it like yes. going counter? Exactly, okay. if you're going clockwise, go clockwise okay. for both. Same with the opposite. Okay. Okay, so then that being said, what would change here? Uh, this is where I don't... Okay, so one will be still ethyl, right? I like that. You're right, change. yeah, that doesn't okay. change. What type is this? This one, What I position did, is this? Um, equatorial. Good. So then now with the chair flip, what happens? Does it go axial? It does. Oh, okay. It does. So it's opposite now. Okay. Oh, so both of them go axial. Exactly. Okay. Good. Exactly what you said. It goes with the point. Oh my heck, that's right. Okay, so look like this. Mm -hmm. In case you're ever, like, I don't remember what this is, mm -hmm. just knowing that, okay, well, if I'm numbering, this is essentially where all of the positions would be, Okay. right? And then it flips when we do that chair flip. Mm -hmm. And like you said, this is where the point is. Now the point has changed here on top. If the point is at the bottom, that, and we're labeling that as one, it's one carbon over pretty much, or just think of it, it's at the points. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. And then yes, we always want to go in the same direction when we're numbering. This is specifically for the chair flip. Really? Okay. That's good to know. Cool. Which one is more stable? Um, this one. Why? Because it's equatorial. Exactly right. <laughs> so yes, this one would be the most stable because we want the larger substituents, really even substituents in general, uh -huh. to be in the equatorial position. This is going to be the best. Same question. Mm -hmm. So I'm still looking for the two chair conformers. I'm still doing the chair flip. Yes. And I'm looking for the most stable. What would this look like? Okay, so um, cis, they're both going in the same direction. Good. And then one and two have two ethyl groups coming from it. Okay. So it'll look like this is my one like this. And actually, let's, let's determine which one is one and two. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. So I'm going to do this as one. It's easier to, to think of the point. Uh -huh. And again, it, it goes back to these. Okay. Seeing like following the point. Yes. Okay. That Let's makes see. it simpler. That does help. Okay. So actually, I'm going to label this one one then. And this one too. Cool. And to make this easier, let's just, if it's axial, let's label it blue. If it's equatorial, let's label it purple. Oh, I like that. Okay. So equatorial, I'll do um, ethyl. That's two carbon. So would it just be like, because when I'm talking about like, Equatorial and axial, I'm just mm -hmm. talking about the one that's specifically branching off of the chair, right? Yes. Okay. So you're thinking of it like, if it's cis, I could either have it be up and up, right? Uh -huh. Or the opposite. We could have the option of having it be both down, right? Yeah. Down and down. So it's kind of just up to wherever that position is. Okay. So like in this case, if we wanted to go up and up, uh, for both of these, uh -huh. you're deciding at one, what's the only thing that's pointing up? Equatorial. Equatorial. Mm -hmm. What's the only thing pointing up at two? Um, axial. Exactly. Okay. And that already kind of defines what it's going to be. Oh. And then oh. same thing down and down. Oh, okay. Yep. Yay. Oh, I never understood that. I was like, why does it have, oh my gosh. Okay, so this one would be equatorial. Yay. Watch me forget that later. <laughs> and then this one would be axial. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then make sure oh, it's, yeah. it's an ethyl. Oh, yes, that's true. Because right now we're showing a methyl. Mm -hmm. So I can go like this. Good. And then I can do this little guy, you know. Perfect. Angling it. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> and then it's also something to note that in case you're like, well, this looks like it's pointing down, mm -hmm. we're looking at that first bond. Okay. Like that's kind of, that's the direction we're, we're seeing, oh, it's pointing up. Right. Versus here, I know that if something were here, it's pointing down, like uh -huh. that axial. So perfect. Oh. Next... The chair flip is just the opposite. Right. Where would one and two be? Um, okay, so they would just move over one. Yes. So it would be one is up here now. At the point, exactly. And now two mm -hmm. is right there. Beautiful. Correct, okay. And then now, still continuing with these. Okay. So if this is equatorial, what is it now here? Now it's axial. Yes. Okay, and axial is blue. Okay, so it'll look like straight up. Mm -hmm. 
like this. Good. Yeah. And then two is still going to go up. Yes. But it's just going to be. I'll leave that <laughs> yes. Um, I'll point like towards the left, like that. And it's still Ethel, okay. so it'll still look like that. Something like that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. If we ever kind of forget, you know, this is a good way to help us remember that this one points the opposite way, right? This one points to the right, mm -hmm. this one points to the left. And just yes. seeing that flipping. Great. And then plus, this is still up and up, right? This yeah. is pointing up, this is pointing up. This helps us see that it's really just the opposite, right? This mm -hmm. went from equatorial to axial, axial to equatorial, still pointing up. Yeah. Which one is the most stable? I don't remember how to tell because they, they both have equatorial. Good. And they both have axial. Is there a substituent that is larger than another? Yes, this one. Wait, actually, aren't they both the same? Because it'd be CH2, CH2. Exactly. There's two carbons, right? Carbon here, carbon here. Uh -huh. And it's diethyls, meaning there's two ethyl groups. Okay, yeah. So because they're basically tied. They're the same. Equally stable. Equally stable. I know. Why do they oh, got to throw that? Of course they do. Yes. <laughs> but this is a great example just in case you do see this. Okay. The more equatorial positions there are, the more, more stable that chair conformation is. Yeah. And then let's say if we had, this is just comparing it. Let's say if, I'm going to say this. If we're comparing these two. So let's not even look at the chair flip. Uh -huh. But we're just comparing these two. And actually, I ended up doing the chair flip correctly. OK, great. <laughs> um, but which one would be better? This one. Why? Because there's more equatorial. So there's only there's still only one equatorial position. Oh, that's true. There is, but there. I, but I this sure. is now larger. Larger. Okay. Do we see that? Where I do see that. There is now, now three two car carbons. Three here. Yes. Instead of just the two here. Exactly. The larger group wants to be in the equatorial position. Okay. okay. Versus axial. So then, in this case, this one would have been the most stable. Okay, that's a good thing. Okay. And then I do want us to continue with this. Uh -huh. So that was just one option. What if we did down and down? So we can keep the numbering the same. Let's just now pick down and down. Okay. So still keeping equatorial on this one. But we can't. Oh my gosh, that's right, because it's axial. Okay, so we'll go like this. The only thing that's available that is pointing down is axial at that position. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. That's so interesting. Okay, so look like that. Good. Um, and then up. Hold on. Down and down. Down and okay, down. I was like, that's what he said. Okay. Um, also axial. Well, no. What's the only thing pointing down in It'd that be position? Like this, be right? equatorial. Okay. Good. And then it'll look like that. Good. That's good, right? That's on good. On that side? Okay. And then on the right side, let's see. Down and down, but then what's happening in the chair flip? I'll switch the kind of bond that's, that's on it. So one will now have equatorial. Good. So it'll be like this. Except we're going down. Good. Good. You caught yourself. <laughs> so I'm like, there's so many things. Okay, so I'll go like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll put this as a reminder. We're <laughs> down for each. I'll look something like that. Mm -hmm. And then still going down on, this is two right here. Yes, this is two. Okay. So, I'll so be, I can make that. Oh, thank you. It'll be like that. Mm -hmm. Like that? Perfect. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So many things that I'm like, There are so many things. About. I know. Okay. And, and it's it feels tedious at times because uh -huh. you're like, okay, the chair flip. Wait, I now have to change the numbering. Wait, I also have to change yeah. oh, that, wait, that this is axial, axial oh, this is equatorial. Yeah. yeah. But main thing with these types of questions that incorporate the chair flip, that incorporate cis, trans, mm -hmm. all you're looking for is you're saying, okay, first I start off with cis. What are my possibilities? Up and up, down and down. Okay, yeah. From there, number the chain. Uh -huh. Once I have that, I have to think at one, there's an ethyl. If I decided down and down in this case, uh -huh. what's the only position that is down? Axial. Axial. At that carbon. Mm -hmm. And again, it's dependent on wherever we decide to number this. Oh, okay, yeah, that does make sense. And then same thing here at two. Okay, I had to have an ethyl. I said down and down. Again, uh -huh. this is pointing down. Equatorial. And it doesn't matter if you decided to point it this way, this top guy, or angle it down. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's really just... This, the first, the first bond, yeah, that first bond pointing in the down direction. Cool. Mm, that does make sense. That helps. Okay. That's it. And then, of course, in this case, yes, they're still both equally stable because they're the same groups mm -hmm. and they only have one equatorial. Okay. This time, mm -hmm. we are given this. We do not have a name. And we're still asked to find the same thing, the two chair conformations, uh -huh. and label the most stable one. Okay. But we're given cyclohexane. Uh-huh. What do we remember from this? 
I think I just see psycho anything and I get kind of scared. Okay. I know that like if I were to 